Welcome back, friends. I want to welcome you here to the Gaming with Sidekicks YouTube channel. And we're going to be going through a kind of box opening reveal of some pieces of one of my favorite games from Tasty Minstrel Games. This is Orleans. Orleans is an amazing game that they put out a few years ago. This particular copy was on my list of games I really, really wanted to get a hold of and finally managed to track down a copy because unlike the copies you can get now at the store, this particular one was our Orleans Deluxe Edition, as you can see down there at the bottom. This one is the Kickstarted Deluxe Edition, which includes metal coins, wooden discs, unique player meeples, and wooden tech wheels, which I think really added to the game quite a bit. So Orleans is a bag building game that you are continuously adding pieces and kind of workers to a bag to take different spots, gain um, points, and try to ultimately win. Now, the number of players this plays is four, and that's for each one of these bags, so it can uh, play out that number of characters. And I apologize, it's actually a game that can play up to five. So we have one, two, three, four, five for each of those. Now your different character tiles are these little wooden characters. Now in the standard edition for the game, the characters are just uh, cardboard shits where these are going to be your wooden disc. And I like these a little bit more. Uh, we kind of take a closer look at some of these different workers you can get. These are a couple of the variety available there. Um, so as you're drafting these out, these go into your bag, and so drafting these out of your bag is a lot easier, a lot nicer than pulling just the little cardboard pieces. The way I had these prepared, I put a, a team pack together for each player. Um, the number of different pieces they're using, their starter characters, yellow, green, red, black, and then we have blue. And so we're able to kind of get those starter characters that you start with. Everybody starts with the same four workers. And then there are different player pieces. And there are unique pieces, again, to the kickstarted deluxe edition of this that each little character tile has, like so. Setup for the game is pretty simple. Uh, there are a lot of pieces to it, but one of my favorite additions to any of the board games with lots of pieces is uh, usually found over there at the dollar store. Uh, if you have like a Dollar General, and these neat little containers with lids, and with these I was able to put all the different individual resources that get played out on a map. And so there's some green, there's some bottles of wine, and they fit just right. You can kind of get a view of those different little tile pieces uh, that are in the game. They're pretty nice little cardboard, or I'm sorry, they're pretty nice wooden pieces. Uh, definitely one of my favorites to doing deluxe game is getting nice little pieces that you can play with that are more than just the cardboard pieces and it also has little pac-mans aka uh, cheese wheels there and these are the little um, like wool and capes the robes and then there are some other pieces that kind of hit the board as well these uh, that's the first player little shield token and these are little villagers that you can take into your game as well and there are some coins and those vill villagers are followers that you can um, add and this is a gear piece that you're able to add to your board instead of using one of the followers that you draw out of your bag to kind of automate one for continuous play uh, coins are pretty nice they're nice metal coins uh, they are heavy duty. Uh, there's some tens, some smaller ones, and fives. They kind of go in there as well. Uh, but like I said, very nice coins. Definitely a, a plus to me for picking this up was the ability to get some nice metal coins because those are just a, a, a such a cool addition to any board game over you know, the standard uh, ones that came in the game, which are just these cardboard ones. Um, so these are the little cardboard workers that get replaced by these guys in the game. 
So, and uh, for the resources, those are the little cardboard ones. I kept all the standard ones. It still comes with the standard along with the deluxe edition stuff. I just kind of like to have it all in here just in case I need to use it. Maybe I run out of an extra thing. Um, there are daily events. This is kind of the stack that determines the length of the game. Each one of these has some type of um, uh, hour, their hourglass tiles and it has some type of event that affects that particular round. It may increase what you harvest. You may have a plague where you lose one of your workers, one of your followers potentially. Um, but it, it kind of varies up that game. These are all the different followers that you can hire. And again, they're similar to the ones we just showed you, but from a mechanical standpoint, I really like that they're wooden. There's one of the knights right there. Kind of get a good view of him. So very nicely done, very well, oops, he's upside down. Very nicely done, very well put together. Um, he had to stick them on when he got them, but I didn't mind that. That was kind of the mini game. So Knights pieces, definitely worth it from the deluxe edition. So you got your rule set through here for Orleans. Now, when you play this, it's pretty straightforward. Everybody has a player board in front of them. And these are marked through the different colors. There's the green, brown, yellow, blue. They're just kind of colored around the edge of the board. The way the, the board works, and so this would be your starting board, is you have a market down at the bottom. And each round, you would draw so many of your followers into the market. And so those little guys that we were just talking about would come in. And you would draw them out of your bag. And you would lay them down across the bottom like so. And then you would assign them out. And you can see there are different things that you can do that you need to assign. So for example, if I wanted to use the village right down here at the bottom, I would need to assign a white, a blue, and a brown follower. Once I had those, then I could add either, either another black, brown, or blue follower to my bag. And so what that does is it allows you to build up the guys that you're pulling from your bag. And each one of these different areas do the same thing. The monastery allows you to use the monk, or it allows you to gain a monk if you have the gray and the black. To gain that yellow, the monk is a, a wild card, so you're able to use him in a bunch of different spots. So the majority of this green action area is, is gaining more workers to use. The top part, the ship, the wagons, and the guild hall, kind of is the mini game in the game which as you're building into your player board, there's also a board. I'll pull that out here. More little stickers in case you lose any. There's also this board going on at the same time. So this is the main Orleans board as always. They're some of these guys really print some neat stuff on the back. Not that we'll ever really use the back, but kind of neat to see the hidden cat, as it were, on the board. Um, so as your main game board, you're going to be stacking these kind of uh, workers that you're going to gain, these followers here. And you'll move along the track. As you move along the track, you'll gain uh, items, you'll gain opportunities. For example, if you move along this track, there's a stack of, uh, of another large stack of action spaces. They allow you to add that to your board that only you would have that particular action space. So, for example, uh, you could add the cellar, which would allow you to gain more coins if you played the monk and priest on that spot. So, as you continue to build up the track, you may get a worker, you may get some coins, you may move down this track down here at the bottom as well which is going to multiply your victory point totals at the end. So there's opportunities to do that as you play. This side of the board here is kind of that mini game idea. All those resources that we talked about earlier, your cheese, your wool, kind of get put in these different ports. And you're taking either your wagon and moving to collect these, and there were so many points at the end of the game, which is highlighted up at the top. Actually also highlighted right here on this little card, right here. And so depending on the resource you grab, there were different victory points. And at the end, the number of uh, workers that you have and the number of different 
uh, guild halls that you've placed around the board in these different locations, and only one guild hall can be placed by each player. So you take those two things, multiply it by how far you've made it down this track, and that's how you get your victory point total. So there are multiple ways to get at the victory and get at what you want to do. So you've got to build up your bag and, and get the right workers over here and go down this track to collect those guys. But you also have to make sure you come over here and build those guild halls. So overall, really beautiful game. Plays, like I said, in a fun drafting type of thing and being able to take those different characters um, like we said we have everything from uh, our farmers uh, we have the monks our farmers are here our monks we have scholars uh, down at the bottom we have the knights uh, the boatsmen uh, and so there's lots of different opportunities to pick up those different characters and add them to your kind of queue then another piece of the end game is this last piece of the board. So there's a lot of board to this game. There's the large player board, there's your individual boards, and then there's this last board here, which allows you at the end to start using your middle space, which is the town hall, to start kind of dumping your guys out. So maybe you want to try at the end to get rid of some of your guys. And by doing that, you can take and get some victory point coins, um, you can commit them to these different spaces. So if I commit one here and one here, it's going to give me two coins. If I happen to put the third one in astronomy, that's going to get me one of those guys at the end to potentially add into my score and have a chance to win a little bit faster. So that is kind of the run through from a deluxe Orleans standpoint. Like I said, it's a lot of game, a lot of different components and resources to it and opportunities to find ways to win. If you enjoy drafting games, if you enjoy opportunities to kind of add a little bit of chance, uh, Orleans does that through that pulling of the different characters out of the bag, which I really do enjoy. Um, if you can get a hold of a deluxe edition for the coins, for the characters, for the additions of all of the wooden pieces, I think it's more than worth it. The game plays well even without the wooden pieces, but if you can find all those pieces, it's a great way to go. There's a couple expansions that Tasty Minstrel Games has put out for Orleans. Uh, I have a copy of Invasion, which we'll look, we can look at at a future date. There's also some simple ones you can get. This was a just a two-tile expansion that added a few extra of these. So lots of little ones out there, opportunities to find. Uh, great ways to add to this game, but highly recommend it. Check it out. Orleans from Tasty Minstrel Games. Thanks for joining us here today again at Gaming with Sidekicks. We want to encourage you to go over to our website. That's www.gamingwithsidekicks.com. Check out our links to different games, video reviews, and article posts that we do about this game, about different games, and, well, just a lot of different things. We want to show you the games we like. And we want to play those with people we love. So until next time, folks, thanks for joining us. And we'll see you next week.